cosmic logos. Spirit matter. Life, the spirit of the universe. The third cosmic logos, cosmic ideation, the universal world soul. From these basic creative principles, in successive gradations there issue in ordered sequence the numberless universes comprising countless manifesting stars and solar systems. Each solar system is the manifestation of the energy and life of a great cosmic existence, whom we call, for lack of a better term, the Solar Logos. 2S, P, I, 42-44, 3, 4, -E -E on Cosmic Fire. This Solar Logos incarnates, or comes into manifestation, through the medium of a solar system. This solar system is the body, or form, of this cosmic life, and is itself triple. This triple solar system can be described in terms of three aspects, or as the Christian theology puts it in terms of three persons. Electric fire, or spirit, First person, second person, father, life, will, purpose, positive energy, S-O-L-A-R-F-I-R-E, or soul, sun, consciousness, love equilibrize, wisdom energy, fire V-Y-F-R-I-C-T-I-O-N, or body, or matter. Third person. Holy Spirit, Form, Active Intelligence, Negative Energy. Each of these three is also triple in manifestation, making therefore a the nine potencies or emanations. B. C. The nine sephiroth. The nine causes of initiation. These, with the totality of manifestation or the whole produce the 1010 of perfect manifestation for the perfect man. These three aspects of the whole are present in every form. A, B, C. The solar system is triple, manifesting through the three above mentioned. A human being is equally triple, manifesting as spirit, Soul and body, or monad, ego and personality. The atom of the scientist is also triple, being composed of a positive nucleus, the negative electron, and the totality of the outer body. INTROBUCTORYPOSTULATES5 Gestation, the result of the relation of the other two. A, B, C. The three aspects of every form are interrelated and susceptible of intercourse because energy is in motion and circulates. All forms in the solar system form part of the whole and are not isolated units. This is the basis of brotherhood, of the communion of saints, and of astrology. These three aspects of God, the solar logos, and the central energy or force, for the terms are occultly synonymous, demonstrate through seven centers of force, three major centers and four minor. These seven centers of logoic force are themselves so constituted that they form corporate entities. They are known as A. The seven planetary logoi, B, C, D, the seven spirits before the throne, the seven rays, the seven heavenly men, the seven logoi embody seven types of differentiated force, and in this treatise are known under the names of lords of the rays. The names of the rays are ray I ray of will power, ray two ray of love wisdom, ray three ray of active intelligence. These are the major rays. 
Ray I V Ray of Harmony, Beauty and Art. Ray V Ray of Concrete Knowledge or Science. Ray V Ray of Devotion or of Abstract Idealism. Ray 7 Ray of Ceremonial Magic or Order. 2. LST Aspect. 2nd Aspect. 3rd Aspect. There is a basic law called the Law of Periodicity. 1. This law governs all manifestation, whether it is the manifestation of a solar logos through the 2. 6. A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E medium of a solar system, or the manifestation of a human being through the medium of a form. This law controls likewise in all the kingdoms of nature. The law of economy. There are certain other laws in the system which are linked with this one. Some of them are as follows. A. The law governing matter. The third aspect. B. C. 3. The law of attraction. The law of synthesis. The law governing soul, the second aspect. The law governing spirit, or the first aspect. These three are cosmic laws. There are seven systemic laws, which govern the manifestation of our solar logos. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These laws manifest primarily on one or other of the seven planes of the solar system. 5. Each law sweeps periodically into power and each plane has its period of manifestation and its period of obscuration. 6. Every manifested life has its three great cycles, birth, life, appearance, growth, Death. Disappearance. I-N-T-R-O-V-U-C-T-O-R-Y-P-O-S-T-U-L-A-T-E-S-7. Involution. Inert motion. Genastic life. 7. Evolution. Activity. Rajasic life. Obscuration. Rhythmic motion. Sapphic life. Knowledge of the cycles involves knowledge of number, sound and color. 8. Full knowledge of the mystery of the cycles is the possession only of the perfected adept. 3. All souls are identical with the Oversoul. 1. 2. 3. The logos of the solar system is the macrocosm. Man is the microcosm. Soul is an aspect of every form of life from a logos to an atom. This relationship between all souls and the Oversoul constitutes the basis for the scientific belief in brotherhood. Brotherhood is a fact in nature, not an ideal. 4. The Lilloch correspondences will explain the details of this relationship. This law of correspondences or of analogy is the interpretive law of the system, and explains God to man. 5. Just as God is the macrocosm for all the kingdoms in nature, so man is the macrocosm for all the subhuman kingdoms. 6. 7. The goal for the evolution of the atom of self-consciousness is exemplified in the human kingdom. The goal for the evolution of man is self-consciousness, as exemplified by the planetary logos. The goal for the planetary logos is God-consciousness, as exemplified by the solar logos.
sacred word. The mystery of life is concealed within the heart. When the roller point vibrates, when the sacred triangle glows, when the point, the middle center, and the apex connect and circulate the fire, when the threefold apex likewise burns, then the two triangles the greater and the lesser merge into one flame, which burneth up the whole. 11. S-T-A-N-Z-A-I-I A-U-M said the mighty one, and sounded forth the word. The sevenfold waves of matter resolved themselves, and varied forms appeared. Each took its place, each in the sphere ordained. They waited for the sacred flood to enter and to fill. The builders responded to the sacred sound. In musical collaboration they attended to the work. They built in many spheres, beginning with the third. Upon this plane their work commenced. They built the shape of Adma and strung it to its primary. A.M. said the Mighty One. Let now the work proceed. Let the builders of the air continue with the plan. The Diva Lord and builders upon the plane of air work forms within that sphere which is reckoned mainly theirs. They run for union, each in his good sign. The molds grew fast beneath their hands. The sacred plane of juncture, the fourth great plane, became the sphere within the greater circle which marked the goal for man. AUM said the mighty one, he breathed forth to the fifth, the flame which is the burning ground, the meeting place for fire. This time a cosmic note is heard beneath the sound systemic. The fire within, the fire without, meet with the fire ascending. The guardians of the cosmic fire, the devas of Bohatic heat, watched o'er the forms that formless stood, waiting a point in time. 12. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-O-F-D-Z-Y-A-N 13. The builders of a lesser grade, devas who work with matter, brought up the forms. They stood in fourfold order. Upon the threefold levels in empty silence stood the forms. They vibrated, they responded to the key, yet useless stood and uninhabited. A-U-M, said the Mighty One, let the waters too bring forth. The builders of the watery sphere, the denizens of moisture, produced the forms that moved within the kingdom of Varuna. They grew and multiplied, in constant flux they swayed. Each ebb of cosmic motion increased the endless flow. The ripple of the forms was seen. A-U-M, said the Mighty One, let the builders deal with matter. The molten solidified, the solid forms were built. The crust cooled, the rocks congealed. The builders wrought in tumult to produce the forms of Maya. When the rocky strata were completed the work stood in completion. The builders of the lowest grade announced the work was finished. Forth from the rocky strata emerged the covering nets. The builders of the second agreed the work was done. The first and second on the upward way stood forth in fourfold form. The inner five was somewhat seen by those whose sight was keen. A-U-M, said the mighty one, and gathered in his breath. The spark within the peopling third and held to further growth. The builders of the world's Manipulating densest Maya, merged their production with the forms built by the watery ones. Matter and water merged produced the third in time. Ascension thus progressed. The builders worked in union. They called the guardians of the fiery zone. 14 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E. 
Matter and water mixed with fire, the inner spark within the form were blended all together. The mighty one looked down. The forms met his approval. Forth came the cry for further light. Again he gathered in the sound. He drew to higher levels the feeble spark of light. Another tone was heard. The sound of cosmic fire hid in the terms of mana. They called to their primary, the lower four, the higher three, and the cosmic fifth met as a great engraving. Another state was born. S-P-A-N-D-A-I-I-I. The great wheel turned upon itself. The seven was the wheel thrust into being. They revolved like their mother, around, within and forward. All the Texas this was. The wheels were diverse, and in unification, one. As evolved the great wheel, the inner fire burst forth. It touched into light through the first. It circulated. A million fires rose up. The quality of matter densified. The form was not. The sons of God arose. Fanned the depth of flame. Took from its heart the sacred stone of fire. And proceeded to the next. In turning next, the great wheel launched the second. Again the flame burst forth, took to its heart the stone and proceeded in revolution. The sons of God again arose, and sought within the flame. The form suffered not, they said, removed from without the fire. So, faster revolved the greater wheel, blue white emerged the flame. The sons of God again came down and a lesser wheel revolved. Seven times the revolution, and seven times break the heat. More solid grew the formless mass, and deeper sank the stone. To the heart of inmost fire the sacred stone went down. This time the work was better done, and the product more perfected. At the seventh revolution, the third wheel rendered back the stone. Triple the form, rosy the light, and sevenfold the eternal principle. 15. 16 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E. From out the greater wheel, down from the vault of heaven, came into light the lesser wheel that counted as the fourth. The eternal law slipped down, and the sons of God reached forth. Down to the inmost point of death they flung the sacred stone. The plaudits of the Chohan rose. The work had turned a point. From the pit of outer darkness, they gathered forth the stone, translucent now and unalloyed, of color rose and blue. The turning of the fifth wheel and its action on the stone rendered it still more fit. Yellow the blending tint, orange the inner fire, till yellow, rose and blue mingled their subtle tones. The four wheels with the greater, worked thus upon the stone till all the sons of God acclaimed, and said, the work is done. Quote, S-T-A-N-Z-A-I-V. In revolution fifth of the great wheel the period set was reached. The lesser wheel, that responded to that fifth great turn, passed through the cycle and entered into peace. The lesser wheels come forth and likewise do their work. The great wheel gathers back the emanating sparks. The five dealt with the work, the lesser two but wrought with detail. The stone had gathered fire, lambent with flame it shone. The outer sheath yet not the meat till the sixth book and the seventh had passed it through their fire. The sons of God emerged from out their source, gazed on the seventh book work, and stated it. The stone was set alone, and new revolution moved the greater meal. The fourth lord of the greater twelve handled the work of sevenfold fire. It is not that. 
watch now this sound within the wheel of starting revolution. Quote. The words of the greater seven plunge the stone within the moving wheel. The words of the greater fifth and sixth likewise plunge their stone. Within the fire, neath of the inmost sphere, as world through space the greater wheel, bearing the lesser seven, the two were fused. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth blended, merged and intermingled. The eon closed, the work was done. The stars stood still. The eternal ones cried to inmost heaven, display the work. Draw forth the stones. And lo, the stones were one. 17. S-T-A-N-Z-A-V The moment man Vantaric, for which had waited all the triads, the hour that marked the solemn point of juncture, arrived within the scope of time, and lo, the work was done. The hour for which the seven groups perushic, each vibrant to the sounding of the word, seeking the adding of the power, had waited for millennia, passed in a flash of time, and lo, the work was done. The first degree in mighty acclamation deeming the hour propitious, sounded the triple note in threefold reverberation. The echo reached the goal. They three times sent it forth. Restless the sphere of blue felt the vibration and answering, roused herself and hastened to the call. The second, with wise insistence, hearing the first sound forth, knowing the hour had likewise come, echoed the sound or note quadruple. This fourfold reverberation circled the gamut of the spheres. Again it was sent forth. Three times the note was sounded, healing across the heavens. As the third intoning came the answer to the call. Vibrant as a key attuned, the eternal primary replied. The blue to the dense one answered and responded to the need. Quivering the sphere heard the third take up the note, healing its force, a full tone chord smote on the ears of the watchers of the flame. The lords of flame arose and prepared themselves. It was decision's hour. The seven lords of the seven spheres watched breathless the result. Me. 18. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-O-F-E-Z-Y-A-N-19. Great lord of spear the fourth awaited the oncoming. The lower was prepared. The upper was resigned. The great five waited for the point of equidistant merging. The foundation note ascended. Deep answered unto deep. The fivefold court awaited the response from those whose hour had come. Dark through the space between the spheres. Radiant two balls became. The threefold thirty-five, finding the distance just, flashed like a sheet of intermittent flame, and lo, the work was done. The great five met the three and four. The point intermediate was achieved. The hour of sacrifice, the sacrifice of flame, arrived, and for eons hath endured. The timeless ones entered into time. The watchers began their task, and lo, the work proceeds. S-T-A-N-Z-A-V-I Within the cavern dark the fourfold one broke for expansion and for further light. No light above, and all around the gloom enveloped. Pitchy the darkness that surrounded it. To the innermost center of the heart, throbbing without the warming light, crept in the icy cold of uttermost darkness. Above the cavern dark shone all the light of day, yet the fourfold one saw it not, nor did the light. Pervade. The rending of the cavern precedes the light of day. Great, then, must be the shattering. No help was found within the cave, nor any hidden light. Around the fourfold one leaped the vault of stone, 
to meet him beneath the root of blackness, of utter denseness, beside him and above, not but the same is seen. The threefold watchers know and see. The fourfold is now ready. The work of denseness is completed, the vehicle prepared. Sound of the trumpet shattering, blinding the power of the oncoming flame. The mystic earthquake rocks the cavern, the burning flames disintegrate the Maya, and lo, the work is done. Gone is the gloom and the blackness, rent is the cavern group. The light of life shines in, the warmth LNS Pires. The lords on looking see the work commence. The fourfold one becomes the seven. P. Twenty. STANZASOFPZYAN21 Chant of those who flame rises to all creation. The moment of achievement is attained. Proceedeth the work anew. Creation moveth on its way, while waxeth the light within the cavern. STANZABII Riseth the cave of beauty rare, of color iridescent. Shineth the walls with azure tint, bathed in the light of rosé. The blending shade of blue irradiates the whole and all is merged in gleaming. Within the cave of iridescent color, within its arching circle, standeth the fivefold one demanding further light. shine forth. The effort of the flame within the crystal cave becometh ever greater. The cry goes forth for other aid from other flaming souls. The response comes. The Lord of Flame, the Ancient One, the Mighty Lord of Fire, the point of blue within the hidden diamond, the youth of timeless Ian, assisteth in the work. The inner burning light and the outer waiting fire, together with the rod, meet on the sphere of crystal, and lo, the work is done. The crystal rends and quivers. Seven times the work proceeds. Seven the efforts made. Seven the applications of the rod, held by a lord of flame. Three of the lesser touches. Four. Twenty-two. STANZASOFPZYAN 23. The Divine Assistance. At the final force the work is done and the whole cave disrupts. The lighted flame within spreads through the rending walls. It mounteth to its source. Another fire is merged. Another point of blue findeth its place within the diadem logoic. STANZABIII. The greater three, each with their seven lesser wheels, in spiral evolution, rotate within the timeless now, and move as one. The cosmic lords from their high place, view the past, control the now, and ponder on the day be with us. The loss of the eternal sound, the product of the time that was, surmount the sevenfold display. Within the ring pass not the word of love sounds forth. The sevenfold words proceed with just vibration to carry out the work. They sound forth each a note of the deep logoic chord. Each to his greater lord makes record due. In the solemn breathing forth the forms are built, the color just a portion, and the flame within reveals itself with ever-growing light. The Lord of Blue, who gathereth all within the ark of Buddy, soundeth his note. The bare source return the other six, blending their color diverse within their primary.